Right now, there are no suspects in any of those cases. The recent gun violence comes as we mark a grim milestone at the close of 2023. According to LMPD, Louisville has seen yet another year of triple digit homicides with 150 lives lost so far this year. WHAS 11's Connor Steffen shows us how the community is hoping for more progress to be made in the new year. Another year. We're still stuck in this pattern. Another unthinkable sum of lives lost. Unfortunately, we're ending 2023 with another high rate of fatal and non-fatal shootings in Metro Louisville. As of December 30th, Louisville seen 150 homicides in 2023 and 408 other shootings injuring victims as young as five years old and older than 64. I think there's a lot of good people who are putting efforts towards trying to tackle this problem. And while as it stands, homicide numbers are down this year compared to 2022. It's still a horrible year anytime you reach 150 homicides. Anti-violence advocates like Chris Tuex say it's no progress to be proud of. And there's no big change from 22 into 23, not at all. We have not seen a downward spiral in four years. The evidence is pretty clear on that. For years, four homicide totals rising above triple digits. In total, 651 lives lost. In that same time, more than 2,000 people have been injured in shootings. And we cannot surrender under these circumstances that are very stressful, very an emotional pull on the community. And it's the community. Advocates like Chris Tuex and LMPD say play a crucial role in curbing violence going forward. But at the end of the day, the violence is so widespread right now that it's just hard to tackle in any meaningful way. The Louisville Metro Police say they're trying. As late as October, LMPD reported a 46% clearance rate for 2023. During that same time in 2021, the clearance rate sat at 31%. That's problematic because when you get that widespread of reckless shootings happening everywhere, it's not easy to try to tackle that problem in any significant way. An LMPD spokesperson touched on that fact in a recent statement shared with WHAS 11 News, saying the community's role, quote, has been paramount in providing crucial information about violence violent incidents and has bolstered investigations. Whether it's law enforcement, advocacy groups, citizens who really care about the loss of human life doing their part, that could lead to uh, hopefully a serious tick down. We have to wait and see. Reflecting on what's to come in the new year, many can only hope 2024 brings with it less loss. In Louisville, Connor Steff and WHAS 11 on your side.